Happy Monday, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I am going to be sharing with you some fabulous things about Usborne, and I'll be back to let you know what they are. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. This morning, I am going to be sharing with you a mega haul I got from Usborne Books. And we are excited for our summer reading program. We are going to be using a lot of these books during that time. And then also for the new school year, 2021. And I am going to start, I think by sharing some fun books about the outdoors. So the first book I had is Usborne Little White Clean Word Book Outdoors. And it has all different words in here. First, it has the alphabet in the front. And my son is learning to write. And we I like these because you can wipe them clean. But it talks about all the great things that you find in the outdoors. So I'm excited for him. And it does have different categories. So this is out and about, on the farm, lots of bugs. And we're doing a bug unit right now, so this is going to be perfect. Woodland animals, by the river, the wildlife park, all kinds of birds, and we have a unit study coming up that we're going to be doing about birds, so that'll be great. Pretty flowers, we're going to have a unit study about gardening, so these are just going to work perfect. Let's see what the next one is. Leaves, perfect, and then seasons, and then nature trails, all the things you find along the way. So this is just great. We absolutely love it. I'm excited to let Mason start tracing all his letters, sounding them out, because we now have written all our letters, upper and lower case, and we know our phonetic sounds. So this will be fun for him to do. So this is one I'm really excited about. Another nature one that we got. This is Peek Inside Animal Homes. And they're always so bright and cheerful. He hasn't opened all of these, so I'm going to kind of flip this one. It says, which animals can you see living in this pond? And it shows you all the different ones. Wiggly tadpoles live in the water. Soon they'll turn into frogs and hop, hop away. And it's just really bright and cheerful. And it's got lots of flaps on the trees over here. Flip the tree flips up and it shows you everything hidden inside. So such a perfect time of year with all the buzzing bees and insects. And it talks about the desert heat and the freezing cold. And it talks about the forest and the coral reef. And it's just wonderful. And like I said, everything flips up, flaps down. There you go. We got some tiny tent bats. Oh my goodness. So this is going to be a fun book for Mason. We also have the four seasons. Press the button and hear the sounds. And I love this. And these are Mason, some of Mason's favorite books. So flowers begin to bloom. And it says tap, tap, tap by the woodpecker. And this is spring. And if you, whoops, I think I do have to, yep, maybe turn it on. Let's see. So it has different music throughout the book. It's just wonderful. I love all the sounds. The bright, brilliant colors. So we are looking forward to using this. I better turn that back off before I forget. The four seasons. Press the button and hear music. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have the Esborn Woodland book. And this just goes through, shows us all the things outdoors, talks about different kinds of trees and flowers and plants, talks about springtime, and look at all the different barks on all the trees. So this is just an amazing book too. Birds and butterflies. Oh, this is cool. The tall, tall tree in the summer woodlands. 
Isn't that beautiful? I love all their books. There's that one. We have an outdoor, the Usborne Outdoor book. We have questions and answers about nature. So this is kind of cool. These kind of flip up and flip out and just the brilliant. I love this. So cheerful and colorful and just several pages. The where, the why, the what, yes or no, how, and who has all the answers. So this is a lift the flap question and answers about nature. That's another good book. This is nature, my first reference book. And this is really awesome. A lot of people could use this through uh, early elementary and even middle school. It talks about all the different things, what plants do, how bees are helpful to us. And it just goes through has brilliant pages with lots of color, talks about birds, more about animals. There's just so many things in here. And it's just a great reference book for them. The next one is called Planet Earth, the big picture book of Planet Earth. And this goes through and it has different places. So it talks about all the different continents. It talks about your adventure begins and it's going to take you through North America and it's going to take you through Asia and Africa. It's going to take you to the Antarctic. It's going to take you all up into Europe, and South America. And it's just going to journey you along. It talks about Planet Earth. It goes through, they're going to start with South America first, and the colors are just brilliant. And it just goes through each one. It talks about islands, it talks about rivers, it talks about um, wetlands. It just is a wonderful book. So another great book. And then we have this book on planet Earth. And I purchased this because of Earth Day, but and it just talks about the planet too and running rivers and volcanoes and different things, moving Earth, all about Earth. It's just great. It has wonderful pictures in this book too. So, and it just tells us when earthquake happens, what kind of destruction takes place. This is a great book. Then I got this Across the Savannah. Absolutely beautiful book when you open it up. This tiger pops out at you when you close it. The next one is a giraffe. These are so beautiful. This is all the animals on the savannah. Beautiful elephants waving their trunks. And then you have this great big scenery here. So we got that one on the savannah. This one is called On the Mountains, which Mason said we had to have because we live in the mountains in Colorado. This is beautiful. So this one you open up. And it's like, wow, look at the, the, these are the wolf cubs. Those are awesome. And the, the fish that you see in the rivers and the streams. Look at his little mouth opening. That is super cool. And then, of course, we have to have the bighorn sheep. Such a cool book. Then we got bear cubs. And the beautiful eagle that flies through. Absolutely love this. It's just beautiful. These books are gorgeous. Those are ones that um, I will have him do with me. So, because they're a little more fragile. But they're they're made really good. But I, just until he gets a little older. He's going to be five here soon. Um, the next few books are sticker books. This is on airports. And this one is about trains. He loves a, both of those, and he has a birthday on May 10th, so that is why we got those. Now we're going to talk about some things. Actually, we're going to do this first. Complete book of the farmyard and farmyard tales, and it just has some beautiful stories on here. It goes through, and it talks about the old steam train, and it just talks about this little girl and little boy, and they go through it. It has some really pretty pictures, and so we are going to do a unit study on farms, so I wanted to get this book. It's Poppy and Sam. And then this is about food, 100 things to know about food. And it takes 4,000 bees to fill an orchard with apples. It's got some great information. And this is a lift the flap question and answers about food. Whatever you want to know, there's just tons of questions. And you can lift, I haven't done any of these. I kind of save them for him, but you can lift the flaps and find out. And it gives you some great ideas and size and how much and everything else. So just this is great. These books are always beautiful, always colorful. Let me kind of move those out of the way. Then we do have, um, sorry about that. We do have, see inside where food comes from. Where does it come from and where does it end up?
So it's really neat because it's got the farm and it talks about being out on the farm and what all animals it takes and equipment and all that great stuff. So this is another wonderful book. And this is 1001 Things to Spot on a Farm. So fun things they can look and gives them. It's a lot of critical thinking and it goes through and it talks about the stable. And it tells you seven saddles. So you need to find all the saddles in the picture. And each one, it will give you the numbers down here. Let me show you up here. The numbers are listed and you need to find four foxes that live on the farm and where they're hidden. And then this is baby animals. And again, it goes through how many chicks there are and how many animals. So this I thought would be a fun book for the farm. The next one, a group of books I have are my first illustrated grammar and punctuation, which is going to be great for language arts. And th these are really nice books if you've never used them. It's the they're wonderful. So this is um, first illustrated, and then this is illustrated grammar and punctu um, excuse me, grammar and punctuation. So they have different age groups. So these are really nice. I'm looking forward to using these with Mason. This one is about graphs and charts. It's an activity book. So it tells you how to measure things and how to do graphs and charts and patterns and sequences. So I really like that. This is times table. We won't be using this right away, but before they sell out because they do or discontinue, I wanted to get the whole group of them. This is adding and subtracting, and I do have um, multiplying and dividing coming, that book coming. I just don't have it physically in front of me right now. The next group I'm going to show you is about history. This is my first, our world book. And this is really nice because it talks about our home and where we live. It talks about changing seasons, dusty desert, um, steamy rainforest, frozen poles. And it just goes through and has some amazing pictures. And it just talks about the underground world and just everything that happens in our world. Then I have Sea Inside, um, Exploration and Discovery, and this just goes through like ancient time. It goes through um, explorers. It goes through um, going the distance. It talks about different time periods on a timeline. So this is a really cool book. So I'm glad that I got this. And then I have another history, and it is Usborne History of the World in 100 Pictures. So this is awesome. It talks about ancient times. It's another timeline. It goes across the time. It tells you the time periods. This is great to use with our history unit studies. This year we'll be talking about U.S. history, so we will go to the timeline that it covers, and we will see all the great things in here. So I like this one really well also. And then we have Time Traveler. If you don't have this book, this is a must-have. This is visits um, medieval time, Viking Ages, Roman world, and the ancient and ancient Egypt. So it just goes through and it gives you tons of pictures, talks about what happened, what type of boats they used, the people, what they ate. Um, they have feasts and, and raiders and buildings and warships and just wonderful things in here it's just amazing great things to go through so i got this one and then i have we're doing the bug unit like i told you and this is um beastly bugs activity book and it's packed full of fun activities and facts so they got tons of stuff we are going to do a unit study on earthworms so i'm glad that was on there and it just has a bunch of activities for them to do these are all stickers and then it's got ants he loves ants right now because we're seeing lots of them. So that's just kind of a cool book to go through. It's got some great activities in there. Uh, the next group is um, for my daughter. I picked these up. It's Illustrated um, Dictionary of Chemistry. Got her that one. Illustrated Dictionary of Physics. And then Illustrated Dictionary of Biology. Those are ones that we are going to be doing. She is now going to be a ninth grader. So we are going to have those on hand for when we start going through chemistry, biology, and physics. So, And then this is the Usborne Beginner Science, and it has all these different books. So it's got earthquakes, sun, moon, and stars, living in space, storms and hurricanes, volcanoes, astronomy, the solar system, your body, planet Earth, and weather. So I'm really excited about this pack. This is just wonderful. Uh, the next a few things that I have... Or, um, go along with the science and this is science in the kitchen and it gives you some little um, ideas and things that you can do science experiments which we all love doing so I'm excited about that it talks about tasting test and your
buds and you have to kind of guess what things are talks about colorful juices and talks about recipes and just some great things you can do so that's one and then the other one is science with plants and i really like this because you you know in the spring and summertime it's perfect to come up with um some good science experiments with these and then I have a 50 science things to make and do. And it just has tons of great things. And it takes you through and goes through and it gives you um, all the steps in order for you to do. This is Fruity Icy Slush. How you can make it. It's wonderful. And like I said, there's just fun thing. This is called a sinking diver. So you can make this bottle. And it's just so much fun. I really like this book, and there's just it's just packed full of stuff. The next one I have is Science Book, my very first science book for my little one. And it's just got sounds all around, light and dark. It has floating and sinking, and this will be fun to do, especially outside. we got a water table, so this will be a fun one to do outside. And it just talks about weather and seasons and just so much stuff. Wonderful book. The last one I'm going to show you is my very first body book. And this is cool because it talks about everybody's body and it talks about body parts and he likes all these characters. It talks about your brain and it just goes through strong bones and muscle power, um, sensing the world, the busy brain. We want to be busy. We want our brains to be busy. So I'm excited about all the books I got from there. I just think they're amazing. And I'm excited for the kids to uh, start their summer reading program. Um, we always... In the summertime, we don't really take time off. We do a bridge program, a workbook. We also do our daily devotion. Uh, we have family worship. And then we um, work on our nature journals. So those are things we do. And then, of course, reading daily. So I'm excited about these books. I hope you guys have liked them all. They're amazing. Usborne has some beautiful books. And there are just fabulous and colorful and bright and you can never go wrong and they're made really nice so thank you for taking the time and i hope that you found some books if you have any questions about any of them leave a comment below also if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and go ahead if you haven't subscribed hit subscribe click the notification bell so you know when i'm making another video and thank you again for sharing part of your day um we are getting through this pandemic and I just pray that each of us can continue to stay strong and not become discouraged. It's really hard, but God has a perfect plan and we just need to follow him. We'll never go wrong. His timing, remember, is always perfect. He's never late. He's always on time and he will be with this. So may you have a rich, blessed day and thank you for stopping by.